This Father's Day, many people will celebrate dad with a big breakfast, perhaps even breakfast in bed. And wouldn't it be great if you could include the kids in the cooking fun? I'm Kelsey Hubbard and I'm here with Sarah Carey. She's the host of the new online series, Everyday Food with Sarah Carey. And she's gonna take us on a new twist on the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but with a breakfast twist. So, exactly. Uh, so how do we get started? We start off by just cutting up some strawberries. If your kids are old enough to hold a knife, they can do this part or you can do it. Just let them cut up a, a pound of strawberries. And then just add the um, sugar and stir it around. And kids can definitely do this. Even your two-year-old, I think, could yes. probably stir strawberries I think he would sugar. probably love to do that. And then just let it sit while you do the rest of your work. The next okay. thing I like to do is just do the peanut butter gonna... with a very safe knife. Just put peanut butter on it. Two tablespoons per sandwich at the most. I did oh, both that's of these. Okay. Whoops, so this one's That's gonna be dad's, double, dad's double extra special. delicious. Yes. <laughs> All right, so those are ready to go. And then we just make an egg mixture, okay. like any French toast. Okay. I think it's pretty important to teach kids to crack eggs because they need to learn how to make their own breakfast yes. stat. <laughs> um, what I try to tell people is to crack the egg on some other surface. And then, I mean, you know how to crack an egg, but kids can get a little crazy and then just crack it in there. Oh, and if by chance a little piece of shell does get in there, just yep. take the edge of the shell. Okay. But yeah. you can scoop it out with the edge of a shell. Did you see that? Yep. And kids can definitely do this, which is whisk. The fun part. The fun part. Kids enjoy that. Um, a little bit of milk, about a quarter cup. I'll just add that. Two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. You're playing the role of child very well. <laughs> um, and then like any other French toast, these just get soaked in the egg mixture. Let it sit for about 30 seconds on each side. Then we can bring them back here to the griddle. Put your butter on. Okay. Probably shouldn't use my hand. This, is, this part you definitely do not want to let your kids do unless they're very experienced cooks because getting near heat right. can be a little dangerous. And then they just go on the griddle and you need to cook them until the egg is cooked through, basically. And that should take just a couple minutes per side. So this is really ready to turn. It's nice and light and golden, but not overly brown. If you have a little bit of confectioner sugar, you want to make it fancy and look like very restaurant, you can sift a little bit of confectioner sugar over the top, but um, maybe you should give it a try. I think so. I think so. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I have to admit, ahead of time, I'm a huge fan of peanut butter and jelly. So. Oh, well, good. Hopefully, you won't be disappointed. Mm. <laughs> That's so yummy. Mmm. This is so good. I'm a huge fan of peanut butter and jelly, and this does not disappoint. So, Excellent. great stuff. Where can we go to get more recipes? Everydayfood.com. All right. I've been speaking with Sarah Carey. I'm Kelsey Hubbard for The Wall Street Journal. Happy Father's Day.